Hey everyone, it's Jen here from Felt Me Now. This is part two of felting a needle felt heart. So I have done a bit more work on this. I've added my sunflower yellow, and now I'm going to add my second layer of color, this lovely orange. So I'm gonna pull off just tiny amounts and even, oh, I've got a couple of darker fibers in there that I'm gonna pull out. And, uh, and now I'm just gonna just make tiny tufts and then fan them out with my fingers like that and then start laying them down. Just spreading them lightly with my fingers. And don't worry what it looks like in the beginning because this is your first project. And this is a great, great way to practice blending color is, uh, is with hearts. It's so much fun. All right. Yeah, and if you just add a little bit of color at a time, you can really stay in control of it. But always remember, if you're not happy with something, with the way something looks, like this, for example, if you're just like, yeah, I don't like this, I wanna add something something else in between, you can use your needle and you can just lift it right off and do it again. See that? That is the beauty of felting. If you don't like it, you can just pull it off and do it again. Felt it over again. Woohoo. All right, so back to business here. So we're gonna use our orange needle to start tacking down the second layer. And I'm gonna add some more to this edge over here. So clouding it out a little bit and adding some down here. brush this little bare spot here. I got some fiber over there. And then use my finger to smooth it over the, the edge, the curve. like that. Okay. Use my little pinch technique to get into the pointed area there. And I want to add a bit more to the top here. So I'll just thin it out, spread it out like that. You can go in different directions. Just try different things and you'll see what happens? It's just fun to experiment. Now I'm gonna work on the other side here. Pull my edges up. Cloud it out, spread it on, add a little more over here, like that, and felt it down. I've got a little little bare spot here, so I'm gonna use my needle to guide the fibers where I want them. So just like this, I might brush it up a bit and then felt it down where I want it. 
and your fibers will go exactly where you use the needle. And like I was saying before, if you don't like it, you can just pull it up and do it again. So I'll just go around this edge. There's a bit of a bare spot there, so I'm gonna add some more wool there. And so hearts come in many shapes. It doesn't have to be this round shape. You can make longer ones, skinny ones, chubby ones, thin or thick ones. I like to make my hearts a little bit thicker so that when I put a wire through them, because I like making ornaments out of my hearts and giving them as gifts and adding beads and maybe feathers, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. I like to put bells on the bottom. Um, so yeah, it's nice to have um, a little bit of thickness to push your wire through. And also so that your wire doesn't show anywhere inside the heart. Just a little tip. But you can also just thread really thin hearts together. They look really pretty. And so now you can see there's a few little poke marks. So what you can do with that, if you don't like that, is you can take your needle, kind of pull the, pull the wool up a little bit and then felt it down again. You can also angle your needle a little bit to reduce that effect like that. Just kind of go in on a slight angle Watch your fingers. All right. And so now I'm gonna use my other heart that I made earlier just to demonstrate how to uh, trim off some of these fibers. So, in, in wool, there's um, some thicker fibers, they're called guard hairs, and they're like, yeah, they're sort of like a heavy gray hair, uh, <laughs> the resistant gray of wool, if you will. And so if you find those, uh, you can pull them out or you can tr just trim them off with scissors. And as you're working on any, any wool project, you'll, yeah, you wanna be careful. So maybe you've, you've felted it quite a bit and you're happy with it, but you've got a, f a few uh, flyaways. So rather than pulling them out, because that can act actually make a whole detail of your project disappear. So whatever that is. So what I encourage you to do um, is actually use your scissors. These are nail scissors that are curved. Those are really handy, but you can use any kind of scissors you that you have around the house. Um, and just come close to your project, close to the surface, and just trim off any flyaways. And so you might, you might felt it more than this one um, before you do this step. This is just, just a demo. And then you can, you know, felt it up a bit more. Pull up some of your little pokey marks. Smooth it all out. And then take your scissors and just trim any strays. Hey, what's that? All right. So congratulations, you've made your first needle felted heart. I hope you 